So at this Dial AgroSciences uh, wheat breeding facility, uh, we did two things. We use a double haploid technique breeding wheat in the lab itself, but we also have an equal component of field testing of the varieties developed in this lab. So in the lab itself, we use a technique called double haploidy, which uh, allows us to breed more efficiently, uh, you produce more varieties, and also get them to the marketplace significantly quicker than the traditional breeding method. Um, the field testing component, we will take varieties produced in the lab and grow them in the geography or area they're adapted to and then select uh, promising new varieties out of those trials. This past year we uh, grew wheat that was bred here in all the wheat growing regions of North America, so that's uh, obviously eastern Canada, eastern uh, U.S., western Canada, the Dakotas, and uh, the western U.S. So, um, we have a pretty good indication of how our varieties perform uh, in a North American uh, scale. One of the challenges all breeding programs face, and we are no different, is that what we breed today will not be used as a potential food ingredient for 10 to 12 years. And so quality uh, factors may change as demanded by the food industry or, or the milling industry. So uh, we have to be very careful on the parentage we select and what uh, uh, factors we're looking for besides agronomics. Obviously yield is the most important uh, to farmers right now along with disease resistance. But the uh, people who actually utilize the grain have factors, uh, quality, protein, a few others that are very important to them. So it's, it's very much a balancing act.